SketchUp 2025 is here. The new version introduces photorealistic materials and environments, so in some cases you might not even need V-Ray to make your designs look good. AI now powers the creation of seamless textures and the generation of PBR maps. Plus, there are a few other minor tweaks that I'll dive into later in this video, so make sure to stick around until the very end. Hey, it's Piotr from Siju Wisdom, a place where you can find software tutorials, design tools, and AI-powered workflows. We got used to how SketchUp looks like, but that's a thing of the past because in the 2025 version, photorealistic materials based on PBR technology were introduced. Photo-based rendering allows you to change not only the color of the texture, but also other parameters of the material, such as reflections, for example. We can make the material more metallic, reflect more precisely or have more or less visible structure. So we can create advanced materials just like it's done in V-Ray. Nothing stands in the way of downloading material from, for example, Ambient CG and using individual maps directly in SketchUp. It really looks great and brings us closer to the photorealistic effect. By default, the photorealistic mode is turned off and to turn it on you need to go to View, face style and then photo real materials. We will receive additional information beforehand and if we click OK, we will see this new mode. Even better effects can be achieved by combining it with ambient occlusion, which was introduced in version 2024 to add shadows on the edges. It looks really great now, just look at this tile. And another new feature you might have already seen is environments, which can be freely edited like backgrounds in SketchUp. We have quite a nice default library, many interesting backgrounds to choose from. But you can also create your own using maps from Polyhaven, for example. Each background can be rotated, its brightness can be controlled, brightness in reflections, it can even be a light source. This is a significant step towards the quality known from V-Ray. If soft shadows are coming any soon, then SketchUp alone will be sufficient for presentations in many cases. Among the new features, we also have the SketchUp libraries. Directly on 3D Warehouse, you will find the SketchUp content library with 18 environments at the moment and a quite large library of ready-made PBR materials. Some of them are already among the default SketchUp materials. In previous versions no one used them, they finally got a solid update. Another revolutionary feature is the creation of PBR maps by artificial intelligence. Just look at this grass. It's a random image from the internet, has some watermark and visible seams. Thanks to a special AI tool I'll handle it quickly. The algorithm is thinking and it will transform my base texture into a seamless type texture and add detailed PBR, roughness, normal and ambient occlusion maps. Just slightly enlarge the texture and the obvious repetition will disappear. You can easily edit the added features, for example, by reducing reflections or texture. This is another great idea from SketchUp Labs, a Trimble lab committed to implementing cutting-edge AI technology into the popular software. We're sure to see more of those in the future. Besides the main changes, which I assess very positively, SketchUp 2025 also offers a range of minor improvements. We have automatic model cleaning, improved snapping, small changes in modeling tools, better integration with Trimble Connect, and compatibility with Revit tools. The process of transferring extensions between versions has been made easier, so if you're moving from version 2024 to 2025, you'll retain all your plugins. To this, new tools in layout are meant to improve the creation of documentation, and there we have it. These were the new features in SketchUp 2025 that you need to know. If you have any questions, feel free to discuss them in the comments. Thanks for watching to the end, and see you in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Bye.